Hey yo, what's going on? It's your boy CJ Mello once again coming back with another episode of I don't know what to call this stuff yet. It's a new series I kind of starting to do. If you have listened to the other one that I posted a few uh, on Monday, um, it's called Marvel Comics Team. So what I'm trying to do is just you know give quick just little descriptions of each team of Marvel Marvel Comics and DC Comics. So Monday was Marvel. It's Wednesday, so we're going to drop that DC Comics Team of the Week. I don't know, I got to figure out, I gotta figure out a, a good name for all this stuff. But this week we are doing Birds of Prey. Yes, sir. Dog it. All right. Anyway, so Birds of Prey, I feel like you all know. They came out with the movie and all that stuff. They have their own TV show, actually, in like the early 2000s, I want to say. I think only got like half a season, maybe one season. I never actually watched it, so I can't really, you know, talk about it, so to speak. But again, hopefully, I I want to make most of these episodes like between ten, at least ten to like twelve minutes long. But I can't always promise that, you know. It's not easy. It's a, yeah, it's a lot of things you got to look for, you know. But let's go to work. Let's go to work. Let's go to work. Oh, baby, let's go to work. Sorry. <clears throat> so, the Birds of Prey is a superhero team that appears in DC Comics. The team was originally a partnership between Black Canary and Oracle, who are both allies of Batman. The team has expanded over the years to include other superheroines, such as Huntress, Batgirl, and Harley Quinn. The Birds of Prey have gone on covert, covert missions across the globe to fight crimes and injustice. The group is initially based in Gotham City and later operates in Metropolis and then relocates once more to Platinum Flats, California. The series was conceived by Jordan B. Gorfinkel and originally written by Chuck Dixon. Gail Simeon, or Simone, scripted the comic from issues numbers 56 to 108. That's a lot of issues. That's just over 52, or about 52 issues. The Birds of Prey, the superhero team featured in several American comic book series, miniseries, Special editions published by DC Comics since 1996. The book's premise originated as a partnership between Black Canary and Barbara Gordon, which I already said, but it had adopted the code name Oracle at the time. It expanded to include additional superheroes or supervillains sometimes in a way. The team name Birds of Prey was attributed to DC assistant editor Frank Pitarisi in the text page of the first issue. Despite the title of the series being Birds of Prey, the phrase was not mentioned in the book until issue number 86, but one of the group's members, Zinda Blake, suggests that it might be fitting name for the team. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. The roster has included the likes of Black Canary, Huntress, Harley Quinn, and Bad Girl, to name a few. Fierce of fighting females who combat their carry-on infesting their city, a femme force to be reckoned with. The Birds of Prey is usually an all-women group of vigilante operatives who have gone on covert missions across across the globe. So what I just read there yeah, is kind of different things from different places from Wikipedia, DC, um, DC fandom. So it's not like, that's like, it sounded like I was repeating myself like three or four times, which is really stupid to be precise. But, uh, hold on. I feel there's more because there should be more on this stuff. Uh, publication history. The title series began with Chuck Dixon's one-shot Black Canary slash Oracle Birds of Prey, Birds of Prey, cover date 96, published in December 95. Initially, the two heroines featured were Barbara, formerly Bad Girl, and Diana Lance, currently Black Canary. From the beginning, Canary was written as a passionate idealistic and idealistic. In an interview with Comics Bulletin, Dixon described this choice as a fertile class of values. Diana's more idealistic approach is at the heart of this book. The Gail Simeon era, or Simone era, don't really know how to say her name, not to be mean. When Gail took over the series of 03, she added the Huntress to the lineup. In her first arc entitled Of Like Minds, Simeon let Black Knight walk into a trap set by Brian Derlin, known as Savant, and his assistant, Creote. With Canary now quickly injured and changed, Savant begins listing demands, the most significant of which is the true identity of Batman, which everybody wants to know all the time. In the end, Huntress and Canary defeated their enemies and formed a team. Arthur Simon commented on the new lineup saying that each character provided a foil for the, for the other two, the two others. 
In this case, Babs and Dinah respect each other tremendously, and each is capable of great things the other is not. Dinah's not just Orko's legs. Sometimes she's her conscience or her muse or just her best friend. And Orko is far more to Dinah than just the mission controller. They trust each other, and out of that, there's a friendship that they believe in. Huntress, I see Helena as someone who is not alone or completely by choice. Dinah is so accepting and so open that Helena sees an opportunity to be part of something without having to force her way in. There's friction because once Helena puts the mask on, she's really not very good fitting in, but she likes that they're giving her a chance. Whether she blows it or not, you'll have to keep reading. Seaman was appreciative of her work, saying, Birds of Prey editor Lisa Hawkins was looking for a slightly tougher Birds of Prey and asked me to submit a proposal. I have a huge fondness for Babs and Dinah both, so it's a bit of a dream come true. I'm really excited by the art, which is very sleek and sexy with a nice dark tone by Supergirl star Ed Banis. This shows the cover here of that. I think that's kind of cool. I like it. It's Birds of Prey number 80. Um, the Huntress later meets Oracle in person for the first time while rescuing her from a potentially life-threatening situation during the Sensei student storyline. The U.S. government had become aware of the existence of Oracle and formatted a list of suspects to interrogate of whom was Barbara without any form of due process. Two federal implied they believe Oracle. Uh, so I'm just frozen my screen. She is the Oracle, and that if any evidence is brought to light, that she will be tried for treason against the US, USFA. Once again, Oracle relies on the Huntress when no other allies are available. When Oracle and Huntress share a long history of animosity with one another, Black Canary eventually persuades Oracle to employ Huntress as a full time agent. The buddy friendship is cut short during the hero Hunter's arc. The final issue of the storyline, the Huntress realizes Oracle has been manipulating her psychologically in order to make her behave properly. In the same way a teacher attempts to reform a troubled child. Despite Oracle's remorse for her actions, Huntress temporarily departs from the group. She later rejoins the team once again as a full-time agent along with newcomer Lady Blackhawk. Although the personnel on Oracle's team grows and changes, Huntress and Lady Blackhawk remain core agents. Excuse me. As Birds of Prey approaches its 100th issue, Simone, if Simone issued, used issues 99 and 100 to shake the lineup. So that Black Canary leave the team with her award and a little girl named Sin. Which, if you've seen the show, TV show Arrow, Sin is on that show with Canary. And use a prison break art to introduce superhumanly strong Big Barda, pacifist judo master, and radically mis. and ra rascally? Rascally misfit into the new squad. And with the new Spy Smasher as an ambiguous Jack Bauer like anti heroine and Lois Link cornering Oracle into almost giving away her secret identity. Again, the characters were chosen to provide a foil for each other and affirm her love for her characters. Wait, there we go, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. The team is a group of individuals quite unlike the friendship between Diana, Helena, and Babs. And any team with Barter onto it automatically has a certain bull in a china shop treble, and I love that. The characters don't apologize for being ass kickers, nor for being smart, nor being sexy, nor being sexual for that matter. There are always going to be some people who find that not to their taste. At the same time, Birds of Prey regularly brings in people who don't otherwise read mainstream comics. A whole audience that may not pick up any other superhero titles. I love that niche here. That, that little area between good taste and utter shamelessness. Finally, Simone stated her agony of leaving the book. I miss the characters in all the books I've worked on. Writing the last issue of Birds of Prey, I'm doing, I'm doing was actually psychically, physically painful. Cancellation. After Simone's departure to assist their title, Wonder Woman, Sean McKeever wrote Birds of Prey's issues number 113 to 117. McKeever used his short stint to put a new incarnation of Black Hawk villain, Killer Shark, against ex-Black Hawk Zinda Blake and to introduce the location of Platinum Flats, called by IGN the Silicon Valley of DC Universe, and a hotbed of white-collar crime committed by mysterious villain The Visionary. IGN had called his short stint enjoyable and creative. His reading deeds were taken over by Tony Bedard, who stated in comic book resources interview that he liked the concept of Platinum Flats. Bedard wanted to mix the concept of 21st century white-collar crime with 1930s mob families and said that Oracle is his favorite Birds of Prey character. DC canceled the series on February 09 with the Oracle The Cure miniseries 
begin pu publication the following month as part of a company-wide realization of Batman-related titles. Uh, the relaunch. Mm. Birds of Prey returned under the brightest day banner in 2010. Gail returned to write the series with Ed Bennings, providing the artwork. Hawk and Dove were brought as new members of the team as well, with Oracle playing a strictly supporting role. While in Singapore in December the same year, she announced an interview with Newspaper Straits Times and intended to create a Singaporean superheroine. The title was eventually canceled along with every other DC book as part of a company-wide relaunch following the Flashpoint event. Yeah, I don't remember that one. Two months prior to the title's cancellation, Simon left the book after issue 13. In July, writer Mark Andreco and artist Billy Tushi took over the title for the final story arc, which featured the original Black Canary, The Phantom Lady. Man Manhunter, a former Birds of Prey member created by Ad Adidioko, appeared as well. That's cool. Sorry guys, it's work calling. Give me one second, please. The Universe. DC Comics launched Birds of Prey with issue number one September 2011 for the New 52 relaunch, with the new series having some similar characters which exist in a different universe than the previous DC titles. Now with this, Dwayne Sosarski replaced Andrico as the writer, with Jesus Says handling the art. Noted Batman villain Poison Ivy was one of the new characters joining the team. The book's first storyline begins shortly after Barbara regains the use of her legs at the events of Flashpoint. However, she still has been paralyzed by the Joker. But thanks to a new kind of implant, she can walk again. She has to deal with some PTSD, though. Diana approaches her old friend with an offer to join the new Birds of Prey team. She's putting together but she declines instead of suggesting that Katana take her place. The gun toting vigilante Starling is also recruited into the team, along with Poison Ivy. Following the departure of Poison Ivy after issue 12, the team also changed again with Katana spun off, spun off into her own solo book, along with providing her services to the Justice League of America, with occasional help from Condor and a former talent, an assassin of the Court of Owl, named Marie Turner. A young African American woman who became mute after being injured by a Japanese Fugo balloon bomb attack when she was a little girl, which the rest of her family was killed from the bombing during World War II, and was recruited into the court. In Bad Girl Angel Number no. One, Catwoman freed Marie from Black Gay Penitentiary, and Bad Girl told her to replace Katana after she left. Birds of Prey gave her the code name Strix, Latin for owl. I love that. I did not know that, so I love that. The Birds of Prey. I'm getting distractions left and right here. Moved on with writer Chrissy Marks in issue number 18. All right. So much bad girl stuff. So much Birds of Prey stuff. Birds of Prey and the Bad Girl and the Birds of Prey in DC Rebirth. DC Comics reconfigured the continuum of their shared universe again in 2016 with DC Rebirth. The, bir the Birds of Prey had their own title once again, now called Bad Girl and the Birds of Prey. Huntress is aware of Bad Girl and Black Canary's secret identities, but they do not seem to be aware of hers. The three women form an uneasy alliance in order to take down mutual foes. Bad Girl and Black Canary are attempting to find yet another villain who is using the name Oracle. Issue number four is essentially Huntress's origin story, showing why she's waging war against certain mob families. Now, if you're going to realize again, DC likes to reboot things I feel like every three to four years. It's slightly annoying. But Dawn of DC, which is literally this year's new reboot, relaunch. In June of 2023, it was announced that a new Birds of Prey ongoing series would launch in September 6, 2023, which was literally a month ago. I might start picking that up, maybe. As part of a Dawn of DC relaunch initiative. So the series will be written by Kelly Thompson, drawn by Leonardo Romero, colored by Jordi Belair, and lettered by Clayton Cowles. The initial lineup for the first Arc is said to be composed by Black Canary, Cassandra Cain slash Bad Girl, Big Barter, Zelot, and Harley Quinn. <coughs> Excuse me. So most of the members of, or the main members at least, of that we know of for Birds of Prey are Oracle slash Bad Girl, Barbara Gordon, Black Canary, Diana Lance, Huntress, Helena Bernanelli, Lady Blackhawk, Zinda Blake. And we do have a lot of reoccurring characters. We have Big Barter, Black Alice, Blue Beetle Take Cord, which I thought Birds of Prey was all female, but whatever, whatever, doesn't matter. 
uh, Catwoman, Cassandra Kane, which I thought Cassandra Kane was Batwoman. But anyways, Cheshire, Condor, Creote, Dove, Gypsy, Hawk, Hawk Girl, Ice, Infinity, Jade Canary, which I actually like that name, Josh, Judo Master, the female one, not the male one, Katana, Manhunter, Misfit, Nightwing, Poison Ivy, Batgirl, Savant, Strix, Spy Smasher, Starling, Vixen, Wildcat, and there's actually a whole team here called the Secret Six, which the team consisted of Catman, Deadshot, Ragdoll, Scandal, Savage, Knockout, and Harley. So those were a lot of reoccurring ones that I just said that were part of the Birds of Prey. Also, you heard the main ones, Bad Girl, Black Canary, Huntress, Lady Hawk. Lady Blackhawk, excuse me. So, yeah, what do you what do you guys think about this whole thing I'm doing here? Birds of Prey. Actually, I did not know there was this many members in the Birds of Prey. It's kind of crazy how when you really break things down, read things like, oh wow, there's a lot more people than I think of. And again, and most of these characters that I read off are in like other groups. Like obviously, this is not the only group they're part of. But if you like what you just heard, you want to hear more, go check out. Twitter slash X at Melopod22. You know, hit that follow button. Hit that like button. I'm dropping some more stuff on there. Hit that twitch.tv slash CJ underscore Mellow22. If you want to see some gaming clips, a game, little bit of gaming here and there once in a while. You know what I'm saying? It's been a minute. Um, You know what it is. Go hit up my YouTube channel. Got to be dropping more stuff on there in a couple days. You know what it is. Y'all know what love is. You know what I'm saying? Um, also hit up the sponsors, hit up Merc Clan, Merc Clan Gaming, you know what I'm saying? Because they also are part of now, they are a team with W Energy, if you've been listening to me for a while, you know W is a sponsor of this podcast, so go check them out, go hit either codes to get 10% off, either hit CJ22 or hit Merc Clan, which is M. 3-R-K-C-L-A-N to get 10% off your purchase of merch and or tubs. Do both. They both got great stuff. W, they don't, you don't crash with W compared to other energy drinks. Trust me. I got like 20 can bottles downstairs I, and they're all empty. So I know. You know what I'm saying? So go hit them up. Merc Clan just became a, a partnership with them. So they got a team going now. Let's go. Merc Clan, let's go. W Energy, let's go. Merc Clan, W. W Mark Clan, teaming, gaming, let's go. Always and forever, one love, peace.